Good morning. Today we are putting in a carport. We're attaching on to this mobile home here. The building will span all the way across the cement. More, we're please. going out. More. We're going to make our boundary okay. mark. Tighten her up. Harley, okay. pop it. So right. once we found our boundaries and we marked it with your blue line coming off the principal building, coming down the side of the slab, we are now putting in our footers clips, which consist of a wedge type anchor and a U clip. Here's your wedge Not type. Washer. Here's your five inch U clip. And we have a four inch beam cut off for our uh, guide. So we're just going to do this process and repeat another nine times. Yep, 10 posts in total. 10 posts total. All right, stay tuned. Uh, this bottom piece here is our carrier beam. Uh, and we're going to use it for a spacer to set our base plates. And then we're going to take that beam and it's going to be get moved up to the top. So that way we got the same distance, top and bottom, when it all goes together. Once we have our foot clips in, move along to installing our uprights. Taking into consideration the tilt of the concrete and the pitch of the roof, we cut our first beam. And we fasten it in at the bottom. We screw right into our U-clip, which mounts our upright right into it. We got our two outer posts cut to the proper length. Now we run a nice straight line across. So our inside post, we level up to that top string. Stay tuned. Okay, we got our front, front beam in. Okay, this particular carport has, uh, it's going to have two carrier beams. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. So we're going to snap a line back here. We'll run our post up. Now we're going to have to uh, run a line to get our heights on these. So we're down our second beam. Now it's left and going back around and I'm screwing, finishing all the holes that need screwed in. Oh. More to come okay. here at the carport. Um, so this morning I got here and I finished screwing the top half at the front. Got them all screwed down. And we're prepping our header piece. This piece right here. As you can see we have a inch kicker on it compensate for the pitch of the roof and this header here is going into the principal building once that's fastened in there we start slapping in the panels stay tuned so here we have the header installed with nice wood screws stainless steel with a nice rubber washer on there now it's left to do is to get the panels around start setting them in stay tuned all right got our second panel up we haven't just spotted for now. Once we got all the panels up, I'm gonna jump up on the roof and finish screwing them all down. But just a little progress. My idea of what we're doing to prep these panels. Here's the interlock groove on this panel, right here. The other panel engulfs it, like so. So what we do is we fill this whole crack in here with caulking all the way up the panel. Then we slide it in, tap a couple of screws, move on to the next one. Well, we're almost to the end of the road. We're spotting them in there. Snapping that. Our snapping knock elite. Mike's aluminum, we build it strong, we build it right. Here's where we're at. We have all our fascia board up. I screwed that down. Our gutters in, screwed that down. I sealed the corners. I got my screws every six inches all the way down on both carrier beams. So it's that the two is seal and peel over all my screws, seal and peel over all my fascia. 
And up here we're going to bend a custom piece of aluminum for the water to drain right off the roof right onto our roof. Stay tuned for the final picture. Right. Finished screwing her all down. Got all her fascia and gutter up. Peel and seal over all her screws, all her cracks. Keeping it waterproof. Uh, test it out. Nice rainstorm coming. Whew. That's all she wrote. Then the completed carport from Mike's Aluminum Specialties. Ready to take 175, 180 mile an hour winds. Built like a rock.